Before we hear from Dr. Kleinhans and Mr. Harris about some compelling statewide findings from the 2014 Otis Report on the Creative Economy, I'd like to share briefly some broader strokes, uh, highlights, and historical context for the report and its evolution as a groundbreaking tool for measuring the ways in which the creative professions help to fuel our economy. By way of a little background, when I was a college art student on a CSU campus in the 1970s, otherwise known as the Pleistocene era, <laughs> the study of creative disciplines such as the visual and performing arts was motivated largely by one's love for the chosen medium, you know, for example, music or painting. Our artistic pursuits were, as I think back, uh, a somewhat idealistic quest for a creative life and one that we knew could be quite speculative since the creative professions as we know them today weren't so well defined uh, nor nearly as robust. Now at Los Angeles's oldest art school, Otis College of Art and Design, I'm responsible for educational programs aimed at producing adept, well-informed makers and critical thinkers in the visual arts. And I'm routinely struck by the way that our graduates enter thriving professional arenas, high paying jobs, and an economy that truly needs, values, and supports them. This is the creative economy, and it's growing, and it's thriving and ravenous for creative thinkers who have received high quality performing and visual arts educations. In 2007, Otis's past college president, Samuel Hoy, took on a central question that had never before been reliably quantified, as you mentioned, Senator Allen. That question was, what is the true economic impact of these creative professions? He commissioned the Los Angeles County Economic Development Corporation to measure, benchmark, and assess trends in the creative economy in the Los Angeles and Orange County region. This research focused on 11 specific creative sectors mainly related to art, design, entertainment, and arts education. Beginning last year with the generous support of the California Arts Council, this economic analysis was extended beyond the LA Orange County region to the entire state of California, which as we all know is long recognized as a global magnet for creativity and innovation. The findings from the Otis report that you'll hear of today, in a word, are amazing. I'd like to share just one highlight from those findings that particularly impresses me. Last year, California's creative industries directly employed nearly 695,000 workers. That's more than two and a half times the number that are employed by the computer and electronic manufacturing sector, for example, and nearly twice the number who work in California's hospitals. Simply, the California creative economy is a huge, healthy, an increasingly powerful statewide driver of economic forces that require our commitment in support of a pipeline for new talent. In fact, the Otis Report tells us that support for the creative professions is as crucial today as support for any focused educational opportunity has ever been in California. The arts in schools aren't just about personal or cultural expression anymore for students of all ages now to experience meaningful arts curricula is also about fostering innovation, productivity, and contributions to economic vitality. I trust that upon hearing more this morning about the findings of the statewide Otis Report, you'll see how essential the creative professions really are to California's citizens and communities, and you'll understand more about how they motivate inventiveness <coughs> ensure long-term regional competitiveness and create a great many highly skilled jobs that require a focused and well-resourced education. So it's critical that leaders from the public, private, and nonprofit sectors work together to develop and sustain the talent pipeline that feeds California's creative economy. This is why it's so important that you in your unique positions continue on the wise path that you've taken in investing in accessible, high-quality arts education at all levels. 
Thank you very much for the opportunity to share this introduction to what promises to be a, a fascinating hearing this morning.